What makes a sales pitch good? That might sound like a difficult question to answer, but in this video, I'm gonna completely outline what makes a sales pitch good, and you can use that outline to create your own sales pitch. Now, to make it crystal clear what makes a sales pitch good, we're actually gonna start with what is not a good sales pitch, and that is what actually most salespeople use, and it's what I refer to as a product selling sales pitch and it goes something like this. This is who I work for. This is what we sell. This is what it does. These are some of the different packages we have. Are you interested or do you need what I sell? And I refer to this as the product selling sales pitch because the primary thing the salesperson talks about is the company they work for and the product they sell. Now, if this is somewhat close to what you might do, don't feel bad because it's completely understandable to use a product selling sales pitch because it is more logical to sell in this way and it actually aligns with our natural instincts. If we're a salesperson and we were hired to sell a product, then it only makes sense for us to think that I need to go out and talk about my product as much as I can to as many people as I can. It also aligns with our motivations. If you get paid when you sell your product, you're gonna wanna talk about your product as much as you can and in every opportunity that you have. This is also how most salespeople are trained. When a company hires new salespeople, they often put them through product training, which teaches all the details about the company and the product and then they're given a quota and a territory and told to go sell. It only makes sense for those salespeople to go out and primarily talk about their product. And product selling in some ways can be easier because all you're doing is talking about the product. You have a lot of product knowledge in your head, so it can be easier to think about what to say because all you're doing is talking about the product. And just to be clear, I'm not saying that you cannot be successful with a product-focused sales pitch, but there are some things about this sales pitch that makes selling more difficult. The product selling sales pitch is all about me and it's focusing more on the salesperson's interest. The salesperson wants to sell their product and make money. The prospect does not really care about the salesperson making money. The prospect does not even really care about all the cool things the salesperson's product can do. What the prospect cares about is what is in it for me? How can the product help me? And when you're primarily talking about your company, and product, you might not be directly answering the question, what's in it for me? And that's the key question you need to answer with your sales pitch. Another problem with product selling is that most likely, especially if you're doing cold outreach, you're likely communicating with prospects that are not in buying mode for the product that you sell. It's not to say that they do not need what you sell and that they cannot be persuaded to purchase what you sell. But at the time that they receive your cold email or end up on a cold call with you, they are not sitting there Googling details about the product that you sell. And the product selling salesperson is always selling the product in every conversation. Even if they can't take the order at that exact time, they're still trying to validate, is this something you need? Is this something you're interested in? And the prospects that you're trying to sell to are getting sold to a lot. And when you use a product selling sales pitch, you will give the impression that you're the next salesperson that's reaching out to them to try to sell something. And the sales pitch makes you look like a salesperson that's trying to sell something. I mentioned the product selling sales pitch can be easier to figure out what to say because you're just talking about the product, but it can actually be more difficult because of these factors. When you're trying to sell your product to the people that are not in buying mode, you will find yourself with more of a mismatch between what you're trying to do and trying to talk about and where your prospect is at. And when you sound more like a salesperson that's trying to sell something, you're gonna trigger more guardedness and that's gonna lead to more objections, more rejection and more resistance. And all of that resistance is gonna make it more difficult to get engaged with prospects and get your foot in the door. It's gonna be more difficult for you to find opportunities and generate leads. And it's this type of path that makes selling feel more difficult and more stressful 
And this is where selling does not feel very fun. So let's look at what a good sales pitch might look like. And instead of talking about our company and our product, we can focus more on how we can help the prospect in terms of the value that our product or service has to offer. We can focus more on the pain points that the prospect has that our product or service can make go away. We will ask good questions to see if the prospect has the pain that our product or service can help resolve. When we identify that the prospect needs our product or service, we can then introduce our product as a solution to the prospect's pain points and challenges. We can share customer examples to more clearly explain what our product does and how it helps and how it can help our prospect. And instead of always trying to sell the product, we can focus more on selling the next step in our sales process. This approach makes it more about the prospect than about us. This approach more clearly answers the question of what's in it for me. This approach is more effective at building interest. This sales pitch has a better closing strategy. With this approach, you will decrease how much you sound like a salesperson that's trying to sell something, and that will decrease the level of guardedness that you face and the amount of objections and rejection that you have to deal with. We actually provide a step-by-step -step process to create a sales pitch using that structure. And I'm not gonna explain this process in this video because we've done that in another video. I'll include a link to another video that goes through our sales message brainstorming process step-by-step, step, and I'll put that link in the description. But when you go through this step-by-step -step process, you might end up with something that looks like this. This is the sales pitch for our company for the product we sell, which is the smart sales system. When you go through each of these steps, you're gonna create these sets of bullet points and each of those sets becomes what we refer to as building blocks. So you end up with a value points building block, a pain points building block, pain questions, and then you can mix and match those building blocks to create a lot of different scripts. You can create a cold call script, you can use those to create an appointment script, email campaigns, voicemail messages, objection responses, and more. And that process of going through those steps to create those blocks and mixing and matching those blocks to create a lot of different documents is actually how our software of Sales Scripter works. There's an area here called the Sales Message Builder and the Sales Message Builder basically takes you through that step-by-step -step process to create all of those talking points. By the way, we also are now integrated with AI and ChatGPT so that you can either go through these steps and create the key talking points for yourself or you can also get help from ChatGPT to create your content. But once you have your sales message, then there's a sales playbook, which is a library of documents. And these are those different versions of those documents that mix and match those building blocks to create a whole variety of cold call scripts, appointment scripts, and more. So so here's our interactive script and over here are the different blocks. So you have your value points block, pain questions, current state questions. These are all those building blocks being created and then displayed for you as a sales script for you to use when you're cold calling or meeting with prospects. So hopefully that gets you going in the right direction. If you want more information or more help, the best place to go is salescriptor.com. Thanks for being here. Hope this was helpful and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.